This is a tiny biological robot, or anthrobot. Instead of wires and circuits, it's made of human cells from the trachea, but it acts like a machine. Anthrobots are the first fully cellular living biological robots made up of human cells. Researchers say the bots have displayed a remarkable healing effect on other cells and could one day be used to help repair wounds or sense tumors. Gizan Gumishskaya is part of the Anthrobots research team at Tufts University in Boston. She explains how the bots are built. Similar to how a tiny planted seed autonomously develops and grows up to be a plant, each one of these biological robots, an anthrobot, also develops from a seed, a single human cell planted into an extracellular matrix, into this multicellular motile machine. These little hairs, called cilia, help the bots get around. This bot is zipping through a wound in a neuron field, grown in a laboratory dish. In our paper, we showed that anthrobots can move through a uh, sheet of damaged human nerve cells and repair the nerves in the course of three days. Researchers envision the bots being used to repair spinal cord or retinal nerve damage, recognize cancer cells, or deliver targeted drugs. There are numerous potential uses for anthrobots. Here's Tufts professor Michael Levin, who led the research. In the future, we may be able to take a person's own cells and use precisely designed stimuli to get them to adopt desired shapes and behaviors. We could reinsert them back into the body to have them perform therapeutic tasks, such as sensing tumors or pathogens, laying down pro-regenerative molecules, scraping plaque off of artery walls, or repairing wounds or other defects. The study builds on earlier research involving xenobots, created from frog embryo cells. But unlike xenobots, you can sort of see the cell bodies. Anthrobots can be built from adult human cells without genetic modification. We're not using any genetic editing to produce these biobots. They are not genetically modified organisms. At the end, that anthrobot has the exact same genetic makeup as the human donor, just in a different biological architecture. <laughs> 